best things to do in Leuven, Belgium. Today, we will be talking about the best things to do in Leuven, Belgium. Belgium doesn't have the flashiest reputation of European destinations, despite its prime location in Western Europe. Many tourists don't consider Belgium a travel destination worth considering. When stacked up against its neighbors, France and Germany, it just doesn't seem to have the same sex appeal. Maybe it's because of the country's relative lack of size, or maybe it's that people just don't know very much about it. But the fact is, Belgium is sometimes forgotten in the eyes of many travelers. And that's really too bad, because the country has quite a bit to offer. In fact, Belgium often wows many guests with its impressive architecture and surprisingly active cities. So let's give Belgium the recognition it deserves by investigating one of the most interesting cities in the country, Leuven. And be sure to stick around until the end of the video to hear about a couple city festivals that you'll definitely want to attend. One of the first things that people notice about Leuven is the city's unique look. Odd-shaped Gothic buildings adorn the streets, flouting their ornate decor left and right. No building better embodies this than the town hall. This monument to Belgian history is one of the more intricately designed pieces of architecture that you will ever see. Large pillar turrets protect the corners of the building, and windows seem chiseled out of the building itself. Statues of important 19th century figures sit on the first, second, and third level of the building's exterior, painting a picture of 19th century Belgian values. While many of these figures are less notable to modern onlookers, people still marvel at these incredible pieces of art. Right across the street is St. Peter's Church, one of Leuven's very own UNESCO heritage sites. Like the town hall, visitors may find the unique shape of the building strange, but one thing is for sure, this church is beautiful, both inside and out. The grandeur of the building can only be partially understood through images alone. It is just something that you have to see in person to truly appreciate. The church is also notable for hosting religious art by famous early Netherland artist Ogier van Weyden and Dirk Bouts, amongst others. These masterpieces are open for public viewing and can be a great way to educate yourself on some of the finer parts of Belgian culture. The church is far from the only place in the city with worthwhile art. The M Museum is a fantastic stopping place to take in some of the finer pieces for yourself. This museum has a collection of about 46,000 pieces from the 15th century to the 19th century. The only question is how you'll manage to ever see it all. Nearby, the University Library Building is another iconic piece of the city's skyline. But this landmark is more than just a beautiful building. It serves a functional purpose as well. The library has a great catalog of books to pursue. If you plan in advance, you can even arrange for a small group excursion to the top of the bell tower for a fantastic aerial view of the city. It may be a bit of climbing, but the view from the top is well worth the effort. As a university town, Leuven is more than just art and architecture. If you're of age, then indulging in a drink or two is a great way to take things in. Beer is an easy favorite of much of the country, so it only makes sense that Leuven would be the headquarters for a world-renowned brewery. The city hosts Stella Artois and proudly opens up its factory doors for those curious about the city's most famous export. Interactive tours are held on Saturdays and come with a pint of Stella as an added bonus. And if you prefer beer in a less industrial setting, the Oudmarket is commonly referred as the longest bar in the world. While that might be a bit of a misnomer, given the fact that it is really a series of close together restaurants and bars, it is no less spectacular. Surrounded on all sides by stunning red brick buildings, tabletops are spread throughout the charming plaza area, attracting potential customers with a lively atmosphere. It is no wonder that Old Makut also serves as ground zero of the city's nightlife scene. Despite its tremendous size, Old Makut feels like an intimate corner of Belgium that everyone can share part in. 
A market of a different kind can be found on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays in the city center. Depending on the day, vendors will sell plants, clothing, artisan goods, and various other items on street stalls, much like a farmer's market. One thing that is nice about Leuven is that most of the city that tourists want to see is conveniently located in the city center. So a stop at the market in the morning can be a great starting point for a day of exploring. Other markets exist outside of the city center and can be a more authentic view of life for those interested in experiencing more than just that version of Leuven. Speaking of getting outside the city center, many visitors want to feel transported back into historic Belgium. Look no further than the city's second UNESCO site, Groot Fenhof. This beguinage was originally built in the 1200s to serve as a home to laywomen and flourished as a community for hundreds of years before falling into disuse. The buildings were eventually renovated in the 20th century to keep them from being destroyed. The red brick design and connected alleyways make this part of Leuven feel like a community all its own. It truly feels like an enclave of the past with its own special story to tell. That community feel is probably also helped by the fact that the University of Leuven purchased the land and uses the buildings for student housing today, giving new life a community space that feels as old as the city itself. Just a short ride away from the city itself is Herverly Woods. This spot of nature is the perfect natural break to a day in the city. Depending on when you are there, leaves may be falling. But regardless, Heverly is beautiful. Bring along a meal from a local restaurant or pack a lunch for yourself to have as a picnic to give yourself the excuse to sit down and take it all in. As you enjoy your time in nature, observe the local deer and songbirds going about their everyday life. Be sure to stroll through the park and if you find yourself on Ad's path, keep an eye out for the mysterious tree sculptures along the way. Ultimately, you are going to want to spend your trip around one of two springtime festivals. The Zythos Beer Festival takes place in April and gives festival goers a chance to sample a variety of beers. With reportedly over 500 beers to try, you'd be hard pressed to run out of options. The other festival on tap is the Leuven Innovation Beer Festival in May. This festival brings several craft breweries from around the world together to share and innovate for the best beer possible. What better way to drink a brew than to speak with the brewers who crafted it themselves? Both festivals promise to be a fun-filled time for all. So there it is. There is certainly quite a bit to do in Leuven, Belgium, and it has earned its rank as a city far more deserving of tourist consideration. What beer-filled adventures would you like to get up to in Leuven? Tell us in the comments below. And as always, where to next?